broadcast live. Are you gonna do it? Are you nah, gonna do it? It didn't work that Yeah, it did work. But I mean, we'll try cutting the open. Oh, yeah, just chop it up and get it in there. Nobody got time for that. Who are you paying for that? Okay. Welcome, bro. You good? I'm fantastic. Easy, man. Easy. The store. You know? <laughs> it's an inside joke. Relax. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fantastic, bro. How are you? Good, man. Good. You know. Um, firstly, I don't know, and I want to say congratulations on the pieces that you're sending out. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I don't know whether you're dropping a full album or you're dropping songs in pieces. I don't know whether, mm. like. What's happening? I, I literally got the full album on, on, on SoundCloud, uh -huh. and then I went to Apple Music, and I got part of an album. Yeah. Um, OK. I what, mean, what, what are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it probably feels like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. No, we don't know what you do, okay, so cool. what are you doing? Um, man, so I mean, we just put out uh, music yeah. about two weeks ago, end of February. And this is a project I've called Chapter 3. Yeah. which means there has to have been a chapter two and a chapter one. Yeah. So 20, 2019 or oh, 2018, I decided I want to work on my debut album, you know, because I was like, it's a, it's a daunting thing. It's like, the album? Yeah. Maybe as soon as I'm done, I'm going to change it to a mixtape or an yeah. EP just yeah. because it's like, okay. So I decided, you know what, I want to do that. And because it's so daunting, you know, uh, it's in the mind. It's so prestigious. There has to be a certain level that I'm at to do an album. This is what was in my mind. Yeah. But I decided, um, let me do it now. And then I couldn't get past track four. You know, because like, ah, man, this thing has to be cohesive. I only have these four songs. How do I make this thing cohesive? I spent months with just like these four songs to a point where I was starting to not like, you know, that happens when you spend too much time with them. And then I got to a point of, you know, fuck it, just do it. You know, spit it, you know, yeah. and uh, I said, let me put out these first four songs. I wanted to make 12 tracks in my head, like 12 tracks, 12 track debut album, sharp. So I was like, okay, while I have these four songs, let me put them out, but not treat them as throwaways. So I was like, okay, this is just the first four songs of the album. I'll be back with another four and another four. Okay, can you just give me time? So in doing that, um, the design thinking wouldn't allow me to treat them as throwaways. So I was like, okay, let me, let me brand it, right? So I had an image that was taken uh, during a merch shoot. And because it was gonna be one body of work eventually, I didn't want to make it like one album cover because that's no fun. You know, over like four years, one album cover. So I had images that were different for each project. But the one thing that I made sure to have on each of them is a four color palette at the top of the cover art. So whenever you'd see an image I'd put out, if you saw that, you know, oh, this is from one part body of work. So I didn't want the same image. So I decided I'm going to do my debut album in, in bite sizes. Right, so four songs at a time. Uh, it started. It was just a way to combat my overthinking. Yeah. Not so much as a marketing strategy, but it turned out to be one. Yeah. You know, because I was like a body of work that's playing itself out over like four years. It's it's documenting my personal growth. You know, the first chapter I was very much in love. You know, so that was the muse at the time. I moved to Joburg in 2019. You know, and chapter two began to write itself. You know, had a bit of a run in in Park Station. Yeah, yeah, you know, true. rode a bike in Berlin. So. I live these chapters first, and then I write about them. And yeah, now we kind of just completed the trilogy, which is apparently a big feat yeah, to complete yeah. a trilogy. Yeah, apparently yeah, people yeah. don't. But uh, we did that last uh, end of Feb. Um, and each of these people are not so much different per se, but you know, I've grown each time. Yeah, you know, yeah. so even this conversation we're having, I was going to say it, it, it's long overdue, but I don't think I would have been ready had I had the conversation when I wanted to, yeah. when it was still uh, a balcony, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I wanted the balcony, yeah. but now I'm ready for, <laughs> you know, I'm here now and this is the version of myself I want to have, you yeah. know, speak to, yeah. I wonder whether we should release this interview in three parts. Oh, wow, I mean, that would be very <laughs> convenient <laughs> and cool. Yeah, I mean... By the way, Paul, <laughs> just in case we hear it by Luans that, you know, um, got a project out, talking about it, um, um, and other things, you know, uh, firstly, I I was like, uh, the skits, you know, um, like the skits are, I was interested in how did you choose your skits and where did you source your skits? Because they all, all, 
cohesive. They seem yeah, to yeah, go yeah, like yeah, yeah, from yeah. one place. You yeah. Know? I mean, so I'm a big fan of like just like animated reality. You know, I like cartoons. Basically, in Tando Popeye. Yeah. But, you know, if I say it the way I said it, it makes it, you know, a little bit yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. You know, but anyway, I enjoy cartoons. Animated, it sounds <laughs> so educated. Yeah, you know. Popeye what I mean? is so <laughs> olive and, and, and spinach. You know, yeah. so um, I just figured, like, um, yeah, I, I had a dope relationship with Adventure Time, which yeah. is the uh, animated series that keeps appearing each time the chapter, a new chapter starts. So I very much related to just the whimsicalness of the, of the series and just, you know, there's a reality uh, that isn't a reality. And that's how I like to think when I close my eyes, that's where I go, Yeah, you yeah. know? Or maybe even, because I can't see myself right now, I'm probably be animated as fuck. But then, you know, you're seeing my live action version. It sounds crazy, but you know, I very much connected to that. And um, there's sound bites yeah, yeah. that were so relevant to certain parts of my life. Like the yeah. first one is, I do want to stay and fight those guys, but I also want to hang out with my girlfriend yeah, yeah. in the time where I'm coming from being an angry rapper. Yeah, of course you are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, coming from that, and it. now I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, yeah. I do want to stay and fight those guys, but I also want to hang out with my girlfriend, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then chapter two's one is um, something about uh, growing up, you yeah. know? And they mentioned graphic design, like, yeah, you know... Yeah, uh, yeah you would be like, go get it, grow up. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So it, is, it made so much yeah, sense. I was yeah. like, no way, this is yeah. so convenient. And then this last chapter speaks to princesses and how, you know, they're, they're great, but also, you know, maybe just focus, which is yeah. also where I am right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And I won't lie, like, maybe that particular one landed before I kind of knew the direction of the music, but I connected with it, yeah, yeah. you know? So that was Adventure Time, man. And the skits themselves are just there to... While it's serious topics sometimes that I'm touching on, or for the most part, you know, it kind of does soften it up. It's like the cover pages of exactly. The, of, of the chapter. You know what I mean? It's a cute illustration. It's yeah, dope, yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's yeah, that's that's that. Um, I, I was. Um, and where, where are you from, by the way? I'm from Kokstad. Kokstad. Oh, I saw something written, and then I thought of the gospel guy Kokstad. Uh, oh, to me, Kokstad. Yeah. And I was like, um, <laughs> firstly, where the hell is Kokstad? Okay, I mean, on Utu, I've never seen him in my life at Kokstad. And Kokstad is a but small town. But that's his surname, it's not like... Yeah, a, but yeah. I'm trying to figure out how. It uh, sounds like... A, you know, maybe he was discovered in Kokstad, <laughs> but like he lives so, in, in, uh, in another stat, you know Yeah, I mean? no, I mean, I, I always feel like I'm on... I know everyone in Kokstad, but I mean, every time I come home, I'm like, who are you guys now? You know, but also, I, we wouldn't know everyone yeah, in Kokstad, yeah, yeah. but it's that small, you know, and I grew up there. Kokstad is on the border of the Eastern Cape, and KZN, oh, but it's yeah. in KZN. Oh, okay. You know, we're surrounded by Matatiela, you know, and uh, Mount Aleph, where my family's from. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, they, there was a time where they wanted to move us to the Eastern Cape, you know. And while I had no say at the time, I was like a, a baby, uh, but, you know, we fought. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, I won't get into that. It's probably political, but, you know, we're in KZN. And Who like, wanted to move you to the Eastern family? No, no. Oh, not us. So oh, you mean politically? <laughs> no, I mean like geographically. Like yeah, 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 yeah. They wanted to move Kokstad into the Eastern Cape. Yeah. You know, and then... So you guys, so you chose Devon. We chose KZN, man, you know. Because Eastern Cape doesn't have Tira. I mean... <laughs> But Tira also would frequent Kokstad a lot as well, you know. I mean, if it's next door, I'm sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so that's where I'm from, bro. So you the Tira of Kokstad. I wish I was the Tira of Kokstad, <laughs> you know. Like, it's always been, like, pretty house-dominated. Yeah, yeah. And like, we had a subculture. Like, my older brother, Nike Mosavi, like, he got me into the music, you know. So we always had a backroom studio. or oh, a backroom. Yeah. And then he turned it into, like, a studio. And we had this thing of, like, homies who come off the class, school uniform and everything, as we got bugged. Yeah. At the door, you know, at the point, at that point, his stage name was Six Four. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was like, the Six Four! Mm -hmm. You know, at the gate, yeah. the neighbors would get mad, you yeah, know. Yeah. And we came out, they come in, go around the house, and then we record. So we ran the studio. It was, like, just hip-hop music, you yeah. know. Uh, but outside of that, you know, where music was making money in Cox, that it was very much house. Yeah. You know? I mean, I was looking at like, um, like Stay Naked, which is like the first joint in the track. Yeah. Obviously, like you've reversed the chapter, you know, you've started it from staying naked and, and not get dressed. I mean, so <laughs> the thing is like stay naked and not get dressed is like, I'm assuming you won't get dressed, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, um, this is a suggestion I'm assuming you're making to a lady friend. And, yeah. um, and I assume much of what you're saying, um, I asked myself, 
how much of it is true how much of it is your imagination uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. you know that's a great question um so i think a lot of my music is very autobiographical right yeah. so it's very much like pulled from my life you know and then turned into beautiful music and it's like the, the things that i pull from are things you'd often consider mundane things yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know the whole idea of stay naked and not get dressed is because when i wrote it uh my landlord who had a problem with me having my girlfriend over, you know, yeah. overnight, yeah. anyway. And I'm thinking, I'm like 20 You paid for one room. Yeah, you I paid mean, for one also, person in the room. You know, a two body fit, you know, <laughs> to try our hardest if we're on top of each other. Um, but what I'm saying is that, like, you know, at some point it got, you know, I'd sneak her out. You mm. know, there's a day we got caught uh, leaving uh, to go to campus, and then it was, you know, it wasn't a pleasant interaction, yeah. you know, and I didn't want that for her. I didn't yeah. want that for me anymore. So either when we spent the day together, she'd leave in the evening. Mm. Or if we were tired, she'd leave at 3 a.m. Yeah. You know, wake up, Uber goes, you know. And then one day I was like, ah, oh, guys, I'm 20, man, and I'm I'm paying rent. And you know what, babe? Let's just stay naked and not get dressed. Yeah, you've, you know? download, you've downloaded the narcos, you know, the quality is good. You know, <laughs> you know what, what I mean? mean? You know Let's what I mean? Let's just get in there, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it's very much from my life, you yeah. know. Like it's it's a documentation of my growth. Well, not necessarily me documenting it intentionally. It's just to that's that's what I feel like I want to write about. Yeah, you know, yeah. parts of my life that are just you know, I think are interesting. Or like my writing process is never sitting down in the studio. I'm washing dishes. Yeah. I'm designing, adding yeah. typography on a thing. I'm doing something, and then something will hit me. And it used to annoy me because I have very little control over that. Yeah. But like, you know, what I do have control over these days is producing. I just open FL with an idea and do my thing. But the idea, the concept, the song, it, 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 it comes to me. And it sounds cliche and I hate that, but it, it, it comes to me. Um, I always say, you know, you, you, you literally like are example of the artist that I, I, when everyone calls me and goes, uh, and I go, yo, just tell your truth. Yeah. You just give too much truth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. okay. you like, you know, I mean, I'm always like, guys, what's happening in your life? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you like going as far as like, you know, um, like landlords shouting at you, like you literally like saying that, listen, there's a, yeah. there, there's a, there's a down, like, listen, I got Narco season three, yeah. you know, um, it's downloaded, the quality is high because I can't stream, you know, um, you, you're kind of getting into that graphical detail you know yeah. and um it made me wonder um is maybe like the detail this graphical detail is linked to your your background of being a graphic designer you know oh, what i mean shit. you know because you yeah, get into okay. the mad detail okay, you know okay. it's almost like it's almost like um if, if if like that's what i'm going you're saying um stay naked right um you say stay naked and get listen stay naked and not get dressed yeah, yeah, yeah. but you could have just said let's stay naked <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah do you know what i mean i hear you, you, know? I hear you. so you want to kind of give us that you know i mean uh. how much of your mind it seems like your writing mind is literally almost like your illustrational mind uh-huh 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 i mean that's actually interesting you know i don't think i've had a conversation like that uh but it's it's I'd say it's pretty accurate in just, you know, having learned the visual language over the four years of my studies, and now it's part of my perspective completely. Like, so when I think about it, I used to have this challenge of what am I a rapper or a graphic designer, mm. you know, but I, I, I'm, I don't have to be either or. So as far as it kind of appearing in the music, I'm glad it does, and I'm glad you've, you know, because I thought it was like, okay, when the music's done, then we go into design. But if it's something that's so in there that you can even say that, you know, it's there's a link to it, and you know, um, yeah, I think just having learned the visual language, I I consume visually primarily. I'd say, you know, like as far as I mean, a lot of us do. It. We're told our eyes, our sight is our most dominant sense, you know, and then you interpret and whatnot. Because I can literally, when I look at you, I'm giving you my attention. But when I hear something happening in the back, I can hear it, but I'm not giving you my attention. So I think a visual is. I also like to tell very vivid stories. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. like I, I, at some point, I might describe a scent to you. I yeah. might describe a texture, you know. Yeah. But I, I want to, I want people to be immersed, you yeah, know. Yeah. Like I think even thinking of staying naked and not get dressed, it almost made me feel like I'm negotiating with someone. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. stay naked. You, you, you are, you, you're making a suggestion. You know what I mean? You know, and you even, know? and even when she's wearing her shoes, you're like. <laughs> 
Yo, Please. but like, aren't you hearing yes, what, I'm you know what I'm saying? Exactly, you know. So I mean, it's. Like, I mean, that's what I'm talking. We're talking about it like it's a t like it's a thing that you can watch, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And you know what? That's so important. I think that comes back to like the, I guess the graphical and the visual treatment, you know, because while a music video for that particular song would have been amazing, uh, I, it never happened. You know, I would have loved, but like it's it's it's. I, I told myself the other day, I think when chapter two came out, there's music that I feel like doesn't need a music video because of how vivid I feel like I told the story, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's the, the idea, you know, just to make sure that you just, I've described the room enough, yeah. like, while not saying, hey, the walls are white, but just, yeah. you know, you're in the space, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, but that's an interesting... Yeah, uh, it's like, you, you, you th that's the beauty, though. It's just because, like, you... Uh, it's because they, 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 illustrations is given yeah. a name like illustration. Yeah. Writing is given a name like writing. Ah. But like the truth of the matter, it's like it's 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 creative. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. And it all comes from the and it it's, it comes from the context of the mind uh -huh. that could visually illustrate it. I can't draw, uh -huh. but I could probably write some yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah. But I probably wouldn't go into the layers yeah, that yeah, you yeah. go in. So your mind is already programmed going to layers oh, even yeah, when you're writing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um which 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 that's why you should really show it when you're an angry rapper we could really see that. <laughs> Stay away. That guy's gonna, oh, throw, shit, that guy's gonna throw you out the, off the balcony. Yeah. That's why oh, we wow. never invited you. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know now. I got the closure I needed for so many years. <laughs> I mean um and also just as a side note, you know um can you name all the dinosaurs? I can. Okay, let's go. Okay. This is the home. Wait, hold this on. Is... You're making me listen. Yeah. Hold on. Damn. I mean, listen, I'm ready let's, for it, let's, but let's, I was let's, not ready let's for it. Let's name all the dinosaurs. Let me help you. Let me let me start you off. Damn. Saurus. Nah. You see, I mean, okay. <laughs> let me help, let me help you. Let me, you let me start you a Saurus. Okay. Uh, listen, let's, let's do 10. Okay, you let's know. go. Let's go. Um, Dilophosaurus. Okay. Spinosaurus. I, even if you're lying, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but so we I got, can, but we got to Google these. No. Someone else is going to, on the comments, and they're going to have fun. Yeah, 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 have let's fun. Go. Let's go. Dilophosaurus, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, uh, Brachiosaurus, Iguanodon, Apatosaurus, Gigant Gigantosaurus, Velociraptor, Dino Nikes. I'm going to keep going. You know, um, what else is there? Uh, damn. Gallimimus. Uh, you know, I can't believe you made me do this, bro. I don't even do this in my normal social interactions, you know. When, the last time I did it, I was at Spa, ne? Well, I probably bought like 500 of these things because they're small. Those small ones that are painted, there's the Stegosaurus. You know, I was like, damn, you know, what? how could I make money from this one day, you know? Like, because it's, it does nothing for me. Yeah, You yeah, know, I, yeah. I even thought it would lose me points, you know, yeah, with, yeah. With, 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 with the ladies. But you know, now that it's on thing, maybe I've opened a, a new market on some. Hey, we're looking for guys who know how to name dinosaurs and stuff like that. I mean, you if, should be on a game show. No, oh, you know what? And if you I'm should. winning something, then they're like, oh, snap, he won because he, won he said me. Stegosaurus. Let's go. But you got a lot of general knowledge, though. You know what I yeah? mean? Like your your vocab, you got like mad vocab. Do you read a lot? I don't. Yeah, your vocabulary I, is like super. Super deep, but I'm sure in those art rooms when they say, What are you drawing? Yeah. You're like, Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you can't say you know, yeah. you have to know what the hell you have to drawing. justify it, you know, you're like, Hey man, uh, the shade, the contrast, if you, you know what I'm saying, Shasha Moon, easy, easy, and then people do it, I'm sure they do, they do. I, I also call like your rap style, like the voice in my head raps, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I man, I, I like continue. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I called your voice in the head raps, you know. Um, <laughs> and um, I, I always ask myself, you know, particularly like, hey, how, how about now? You know, I yeah. kind of go, um, what are you saying in your head all the time? You know, uh -huh. it's like it's like I think uh -huh. your I think your head speaks more than your mouth. Probably. Yeah. Without a doubt. I mean, it's always internal conversations before I do externalize it. Like, it's a back and forth. Like, with How About Now specifically, you know, that was a conflicted moment yeah, for me. Like, yeah. okay, now I'm in Johannesburg. I've moved to, to, to Johannesburg because I wanted to get closer to the labels, but for a completely different reason. Not for by Luanster, but for the company, like my agency, mm -hmm. Normal, to kind of offer the service that we've been offering, offering to by Luanster mm -hmm. that he wasn't paying us for. Mm -hmm. You know, now if I can get closer to people who have the bigger budgets, because one thing I, that 
I don't appreciate or that I don't enjoy is underusing mm -hmm. or being underused or underusing myself. So if someone can like say, okay, we can afford what you do for Bailuansta because that's my portfolio. Mm -hmm. You know, Bailuansta's career is the main thing in my portfolio. So I wanted to move and get closer to the, the, the labels to offer that as a service. And, you know, then I'm walking around Bramfontein and then, you know, I'm, I'm getting recognized. You know, and it's like, hey, aren't you that guy? Aren't you that guy? Hey, what are you doing on the weekend? We've got this thing. I was like, maybe I should be by Lance the for a bit. You mm -hmm. know, no longer take clients for a little bit and mm -hmm. see where this goes. You know, so now already the plan has changed. So yeah. that whole conflictedness, because at the end of the day, what was paying my rent consistently was the design work I was doing, you yeah. know, the art direction and whatnot. So to decide to abandon that, you know, was like, I thought, okay, maybe this is the time where, you know, people are ready for me. Opportunity has already presented itself. Now that I'm in Joburg, now that there's a face they can assign, you know, so that whole thing of what am I, a rapper or a graphic designer, and then maybe even cutting myself off mid-sentence, like, Shh, you know, whoa, you know, it's, 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 it makes me sound crazy, but it's, it's, yeah, it is definitely a voice in my head, raps, you know, that just happens to not become filtered before it comes out my mouth. It just yeah. comes out the way it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So I think when I do write it, it's not even a, a case of, okay, this is the point where I'm gonna change my stance. Yeah. I change my mind mid, I'm like, but hold on, who cares that you've graduated? Uh, the fact that you're designing and not writing, you know, these are things I'm also figuring out as I say them. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it definitely is, if anything, if it is a voice in my head, um, and I don't think maybe the microphone might be in my ear. Yeah. And yeah. whatever's happening in my head. Because when it comes out my mouth, I've already decided, you know what, I'm gonna be a designer. But when it comes out my ear, before it comes out my mouth, that's becomes a song, I guess. It was hella complex. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> see it's the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see. Maybe it's me. That's just slow, but like that was hella complex. Nah, it is, bro. Honestly, I, if I could uncomplicate it, you know, maybe the music. Would when be... are you? Who? Who? And when are you comfortable with where you don't have to have like a um, a meeting in your head with yourself? Mm. Like in 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 which instances where you kind of comfortable in you? Because you, like you, you're voicing. I think if you're voicing in your head so much in your raps, yeah. you must be voicing in your head also in your life. You know, ah. when are you most comfortable? Where like you know. You can switch off the voice and you can just be autopilot. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. When I speak to women. <laughs> <laughs> when I speak to women, um, I don't know, there's a level of just, you know, I'm, I'm sure about yeah. everything, you know. The stuff I might have already been saying before I opened my mouth, you know, maybe, you know, just give them the look. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, but yeah, no, that's definitely. <laughs> you got that look. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's definitely like one place I, I, I you know, and also um, recently I've also discovered because I, 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 I teach sometimes as well, you know, I, but music related things. So okay. because my agency doubles up as a record label and a creative agency, I've, the combination of that is the rollouts I do for Bailuansta, the, 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 the cover art, the campaign. So I was in Cape Town two weeks ago in a partnership with an organization called Bridges for Music. Uh, and I did workshops for them to teach them about, uh, well, it's like a based Elanga. Mm -hmm. So they take uh, musicians or people who are interested in pursuing music on a six month program. Um, and then I, I was given the opportunity to lecture them on music rights and um, brand related revenue, right? So they're on two separate days. So it was very fluid, that whole process of lecturing, you know. I based the information I was sharing, while there was facts, we looked at what copyright is, all the facts that are there, but it was very much pulled from an empathetic place. So this is my career, this is how I navigated this and whatnot. So that's another place where like, I just go off. I can just go off and along the way, things piece themselves together. Yeah. When I was younger, I was having a tough time, bro. Like the come out my mouth and then I start to play catch up. Yeah, yeah. Now I think just with age, you know, there's no internal conversation. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. What do you guys want to know about? Okay, copyright. Cool. So don't get fucked over. Yeah, Let's yeah. start there. Yeah. You know, then we kind of get yeah, into yeah, it. So yeah. talking to women and possibly speaking about the shit that I care about. Okay. Yeah. You you know, um, um, have, have you ever like started drawing something on your own and then you kind of go, this is not going anywhere and you stop? Like, you know, it's, it's almost like incomplete. You like, you kind of start with mm. like, the, like halfway, you like you like either like no more inspiration yeah. or 
or it's just not going anywhere. You just yeah, like, I do, um, but it's it's not like a disheartened response. No, it's no, like, no, okay. no. Yeah, it's like ah, I'll yeah. get back. So that's that get back to it. Like even and then maybe never, maybe ten years. And that's the thing. If I don't delete it or I don't throw it away, then there's an opportunity. But you know why? You know, you know what I want to get to. Yeah. Part of you speaking in your head and speaking to people, yeah. you sometimes have ideas which literally like uh, are inspired by that graphical thing where you yeah. illustrate it and you stop in the middle. Yeah. You're having a conversation, but you know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then you see that mm, maybe they don't get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you, I think you have a lot oh, of those. Definitely. You have a lot definitely. of those. Um, even with your mouth, like uh. <laughs> I'm drawing, I'm drawing the picture, I'm drawing the picture, I'm drawing the picture. Uh. Are they seeing the picture? Are they seeing uh. the picture? No, they're not. Uh. Seeing, undrawing, <laughs> unseeing. Is this based on this, like our interaction? Or? I, I just get that sense about you. Yeah, I mean, I think you, yeah. le- uh, you, uh, you, you leave, you leave a lot of people like. <laughs> Anyway, and then you yeah, notice yeah. yourself that, like, I'm okay, with, I'm I, going I, I there. Lost you. I that, lost you. <laughs> that's part of your. That's part of your. Yeah. That's part of your illustration behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your illustration behavior gives you the freedom, because it's you personally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it gives you the freedom and gets your mind kind of gone go go ah yeah. later. So even when you get into a conversation, you get so you are so, so you, you cannot you got to stop thinking about right. You actually like a, a, a an illustrator by default. Yeah. Everything else is a plus. So even when you're okay. in your conversations, yeah, yeah, you're literally yeah. like on some, I'm drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing. Uh, they can see, they can see, they can see, they can see. Then you even go, I don't even see it anymore. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, it's true. Um, and the fact that you also have been able to um, attribute it to more than just the music, you know, and now I'm, I'm, I'm a walking illustrator, you know, I'm a walking pen, I'm a walking HB pencil, 2B pencil, you know, I, I, I like that. I think you've, I don't, you're familiar with Nardwar, right? Nardwar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gifts people with things mid-interview. I don't, not to put pressure on you, because I don't see anything that you could, uh, yeah. but you gifted me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, I'm leaving with a lot. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's not so much things that, I think you've kind of pointed at things that are already on my land, but you know, I was just watering them. You yeah. know, so I do value that a lot. Shout you know, so yeah. thanks, Nardwa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, night crawlers, you're talking about like uh, it's, and that's the other thing. You see, that's a beautiful story. You like uh, a storyteller, and and um, and you talk about like this uh, this this uh, this idea of um, of being inside this Uber. Yeah. And um, when you're inside this Uber, this the, the driver's just talking and talking and talking. Yeah. And you like, brah, geez, can I just like carry on with my life? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then finally, eventually, you also kind of start getting into the conversation with him. He drops you in the middle of the city, like in Park Station, you know, drops you in Park Station. It's at night, something happens to you. And the last thing you can remember is actually that moment of, 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 of that pleasant moment mm. that you had that you almost pushed away. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, my, the question I, I had is that, was that like a messaging song where you wanted to, where like that the message came first? Because the ending also is like, um, is like, is it's like the ending is like, oh, okay, that's how it ends. So I never knew that did you, when you started, did you want to end like that, you know? Um, did you know that there was going to be the message? Because when you close it up, you just go back to the driver, yeah. which has nothing to do with how the ending comes yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just wondering how you plotted, how you wrote mm. that, and how you kind of, the order of each part yeah, of yeah, each yeah, thought yeah, yeah. and how you got that together, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the first thing that I did, sorry, that was a great question, thank you. Uh, first thing, not to structure it either, but I wanted to make sure the story is about the driver. Yeah. You yeah. know, because he fucked me up. Yeah. That was yeah, him. So, yeah. like, two verses, you know, dedicated to that and then at the end then it's about what happened you know it's like wait hold on what what happened and it's like oh the driver then it, then if you go back it's like okay cool we are focusing on the driver because that was the moment that really messed with me the most that you know my not from Joburgness was so obvious that he was like nah I can take this one for a ride you know so yeah the plan was to make sure that you know people know you know that um it's the, the interaction with him is what's the important thing, you know. Him talking constantly, trying to look me in the face while driving, telling me how dope of a driver he is. Like, 
like, oh, they get it. I'm a little bit high. Yeah, <laughs> Can yeah, I, yeah. you yeah. know, so, um, yeah, so, it, like, when he drops me off, you know, obviously now I'm, now we're introduced to a, the part of the story where he's not in there. And it's like, you know, hey, I'm probably, you know, skipping to the park station. And suddenly it's like, holy shit, what, okay. Then suddenly you're in this subplot and then you come back with, and I thought about the driver because there's two ways that I interpreted the driver. It's like, obviously, at the end, that smile on his face, because we had like, ah, oh, we even exchanged numbers and I can't find it now yeah. because now I need to find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Him. But, um, you know, like, it's like, okay, when I think of his smile, it's like, okay, that smile could have been a sinister smile, you know, on some, yeah, you know, go, good luck, you know, oh, go well, my brother, shop, you know, and then, <laughs> you know, or, you know, the way you interpreted it now about, you know, that, you know, the warmth in our interaction and how that was great, you know, it's, it's, it's I don't know, it's interesting, but like, when I got to the end, like, when I was writing this shit, bro, I was, writing it as it happened. Like, I was just like, okay, cool. Then what happened afterwards? Oh yeah, I was on the, okay, we were on the road to the park station. What was I thinking there? I was texting my girl and I wrote it as it was happening. So illustrating, you know, it's like, we've got the outline, which we know is the instrument, is the music. And then I was shading it in. It's like, okay, cool. What was happening now? How in depth do I want to go with this shading and stuff like that? And then, yeah, but I also wrote that song because I knew that was a story I was going to tell a lot. I was like, you know, I'm going to get tired. Also, at some point, it was triggering to constantly tell the story. Uh, then I just like, okay, guys, I got mugged, but it's in a song. Maybe yeah. go up the streams over yeah. there. Yeah. And then you come here, we can chat about it. So it was like motivated, but you know what? It, it's a traumatic incident. And, you know, it was, I, I, I felt like it was like me being introduced to Joe Yeah. That's what Solo actually said. I don't know yeah. if he was making fun of me. But, you know, he was like, okay, you've been here for six months. Um, Welcome to Jovic. Yeah. You know, so I just said, okay, cool. I'm gonna turn it into something that I don't have to constantly repeat myself. And I, I thought I made it pretty as well. I thought that you see, that's the thing though. You see, when you uh, when you end up with the line and the driver, yeah. Um, and you talk about the smile, yeah. right? I'm I'm picking up that like there's this interaction. Yeah. You know, and I so I'm, I'm I picked it up as a gratitude thing. Yeah. I picked it up like oh shit, you know, um, this guy was cool, kind to me. And I was uh. actually like trying to push him away and ignore yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm in the streets, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit gets real in the yeah. streets. And and as something's about to happen to me, the last thought I have is it's this him. guy, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. which is almost like my last happy yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's dope. I like that. You know what I mean? If he didn't set me up, because I, he did set me up, yeah. I think he set me up. Okay. That was like the idea of the okay, song, that okay. this guy, like was making me malleable. He was like, okay, cool. Let me make sure like the topic that kind of got me was when he told me that a, a, an Uber, a, let's say a, a, a one kilometer Uber in Santon is more expensive than a one kilometer Uber Soweto. That's what those, that's the example he had given me. I was like, wait, this whole time I'm sitting like, oh, wait, what? What did you say? Okay, how does that work? And then suddenly I'm engaged. So he kept throwing things at me. And they were not landing, Oops. you know? Yeah, you know, I was like, okay. And then he said that one thing. I was like, okay, that's fascinating. Let's talk. And then we got to talking, you know, painted himself to be such a genuine guy. Like, I don't start a trip if I still need to fill up. I, you know, all these things, I only get five stars. I'm thinking, okay, that's dope. You know, all this bleeding in from where he got me. Because in his mind, he's like, got him. Got him, now let's talk. Yeah. Because there's no reason he dropped me on that side of yeah. Park Station. Yeah. Who Valiwe? At 11. Like, there's an entrance that side, but he insisted on this side, and I didn't know, you know, uh, because I wasn't even from this side. So, yeah, I mean, had he not set me up, that would have been a dope uh, version of the, the story. Sorry, man. I guess welcome to Joe again. <laughs> you know, by the time I got to buy a song, I realized that death is a big theme. Death, accidents, and being robbed are a common theme. Yeah. In your in this in this in this three part project, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's a, it's like you it's like a, it keeps coming up in different ways. Even in bike, you know, it yeah. came out. Even in even even in um, even in the first song, it comes up. You know, wow. in naked. You know, um, death is a de um, death is the most used so word probably in this song. Okay. Dead or death. You know? Oh shit! In, in this you're album, right, this whole right. project, dead, oh, death. Fuck. Okay. Dead, death is like probably the most used word. I'm, okay. I wasn't counting the words. I'm just assuming. Okay. You know, um, okay. why are you so obsessed with this death? 
you had a car accident, you know. Uh. Like, the, you obsessed no climate, I mean, you're not angry anymore, but like uh. now you seem like a victim. Damn. That's cool. I mean, listen, I was actually asked the other day about, you know, what my thoughts are on my morality. You know, is it something that I am very careful of or something that I'm conscious of, like, okay, that if it's my day, it's my day, you know? Um, and I think the times where I'm almost, you know, walked into the light, um, it's almost like when I mention death, I don't mention it in a dark, you know, unless it's like, almost died the other night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but but I'm just saying, Unama, you don't mean it in a dark way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you, are, you always have like, uh. like, cliche, cliche. Yeah. You have a lot of cliche off. Yeah. Moments. Maybe, maybe that's what pushes me. You know, mm. that, okay, almost had me, but there's a reason I didn't. Because the first time I was in a car accident in 2016, I was unconscious when we were hit. Don't even have the trauma, mm. you know? Maybe even the next day I could have driven a car because mm. I didn't see anything happen. I just woke up neck brace, and that was about it. But um, yeah, I mean, the whole cliche and alpha thing, you know, maybe it's what, you know, keeps me constantly on my toes on some, okay, cool. I can't go if I feel like I haven't done enough, you know? And by enough, I mean, you know, enough changes. Yeah. The more equipped I become, you know, like the team grows bigger and just like the goals get bigger. So, you know, there will never be enough at this point. But, you know, I'm sure there's a point where it's like, okay, we get it, Valuanza. You did this, did this. You know, another friend of mine, Utebza, always says, when I tell him just my life story and just things I've done musically, he's like, bro, you could, you could go right now. I'm making, bro, I probably could. <laughs> but, you know, let's just keep doing more. But it's interesting. I, I, I didn't really... It wasn't intentional about that. Yeah, you know. do it, do it, do it, do a, do a word check again. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, fine. You know, um, yeah. it never makes sense. You know, you, you, you. Like I always, I wanted to just say this to you. Like, the music industry never makes sense. You know, yeah. it never makes sense. Okay. You know, you, 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 you'll always get to a place, but then you'll know that there's another place to get yeah, to. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to literally, like, uh, almost like, like milestone. Your, mm, your growth mm, and um, mm. until you kind of get to a point where you just go, I'm just tired of milestoning of the course, growth in this course. environment. Yeah. So just 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 for okay, fine. I wanted to let you know that, and, you. and and also, <laughs> I mean, and also you just even with, when you're in a relationship, be with someone who understands that. Yeah. You never the the beauty of it though, I guess, versus everyone else who does something different that yeah. literally has a destination is that of course. music literally forces you to keep digging. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. So you, I say that you gotta do music if you wanna keep digging yeah. um, inside you, you know, and keep checking your potential and keep checking yeah. your, 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 keep checking your tolerance, you yeah. know, and, and how much, and how much um, resilience you have. Mm. If you really wanna do a resilience experiment, do music. <laughs> That's factual. Do music. Music yeah. is a resilience experiment, but it yeah. makes you know yourself better. Uh -huh. It makes you know who you are more than other people, actually, yeah. you know? Um, so, so it doesn't get better. Uh -huh. And when you're with your partner, you must just know that, like, there's more resilience. Yeah. You, you're just going to be with the person that knows themselves mm, a little mm, bit mm. more. I mean, as a result, you know, like, the fact that I'm still doing music, we kind of know, like, how, you know, like relationships will end in that situation, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I've, I've given myself room as of the last two years to be this fully resilient, to be fully present in what I need to do. So as a result, you know, I'm a lonely guy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, I keep, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kept company by my peers and whatnot. But um, I think the day I decide to, you know, settle down if it hasn't found you because yeah, this course. thing finds you by the way yeah it's you don't do you don't find it it uh -huh. finds you you're thinking that no i'm meeting no yeah. you don't meet anybody they meet you you meet them uh -huh. you so know? with that said when that presents itself that means like music no 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 when that presents itself it will literally allow you to do your music ah i see i see you know okay you know, it'll literally allow you to do your music. Okay. Yeah, and your design. Yeah. 
and yeah. like your incomplete like what the fuck was I saying sentences. Yeah. It will yeah. it will literally allow you to do that and you'll be more affirmed yeah. with it and have more conviction. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. so yeah, like you know, I mean, um um Pro's father the other day said mm. to me, the problem with us is that we're not living, you know? Mm. Um so live. Mm. Stop chasing what you think is life. Yeah. You know, live. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Club live. You know? <laughs> And okay, fine. Okay, we jumped into that, you know. Um, and I probably also know one of your one where 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 some of your arguments come in in your relationships. Yeah. I just pretty they picked it up in pretty stars, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's like um, you you always trying to you always trying to like rationalize it. You always trying to ra- and the girl is going. Not everything is a theory. <laughs> Wow. This is your relationship life. Wow. I think that's your relationship life. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's someone who's going to watch this part and be like, tell them, tell them. I mean, okay, continue. No, no, that's it. That's it. I just, I mean, like, it's, I'm asking. It's a question. It's a question. I mean, listen, I I, I don't know. Because I think you're you're obviously... No, 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 no. You know what happens. You know most of the, You know the feedback you get when you think of that. But... Theoretically, common sense says. <laughs> I mean, I still feel like, you know, I'm right. Yeah. Just in that particular case, because it's like, let's make it make sense, you know? And yeah. Forget you, so you like pushing emotions out. Oh. And you like making like you like no, making it make sense. No. I mean, I'm 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 definitely emotions first. But it's like I think even the logic I try to find is in the emotion. Yeah. You know. But then but and, and this is the argument. Girls don't want the logic when you're in the emotions at times. And you think the logic makes it better. But like people are literally going, no, 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 fuck logic, it's emotions. And these are the problems that you're having in relationships. You're trying to go by logic card. No, don't care, bro. I'm I'm the softest boy, bro. No, it doesn't mean that you're not soft. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're I not hear soft. you. It means that you. It means that you. You intrude. Yeah. Actually, maybe I'm possibly. Maybe I'm happy, but I'm probably possibly too in tune. That I kind of like now. Even the emotions start stop being curvy. They become a bit more rigid. Still emotional, but because I've taken them. Ah. Does that, does that make sense? You never finish that. <laughs> you see anything? I see that. I don't see it. Erase, 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 erase. Hey man, I mean, I guess that. I mean, I think that song could have gone many directions. You know, there's an angry rapper I could have tapped into, yeah. who could have just been like angry. You yeah. know, but you know, because I'm not angry or like that anymore, or I, I know a different way to process my anger. I got to a point where, you know, I was sad when we broke up. Sad boy nap. You know, I napped, sad boy naps for the first time in a minute. I sunk into that couch, you know. And then I processed that. And then, you know, not, I didn't even, at some point, I didn't even want to write and acknowledge that, hey, that relationship I made four songs about in chapter one is over. I almost wanted to just skip the race to, to, okay, I'm in a suit now. But, you know, a part of me was like, okay, just to kind of conclude a certain chapter, you know, let's... Because, I mean, that comes after, right after OK Fine, where I've kind of expressed that, okay, it's a long-distance relationship now. So from OK Fine into just, okay, Artist Entrepreneur by Luanza, there's going to be like, okay, so what happened? Stay naked, you know? So a part of me said, okay, I have to comment on it, but I wasn't going to make a whole song about it. And then uh, my DJ, uh, L the Third, he sent me a beat and my pen would just start bleeding afterwards. He sent me a beat for Pretty Stars and I just said, okay, cool. You know, I clearly needed to get this out. That's how, you know, fluid it came out. So, yeah, man, I didn't want to touch on it in the beginning, but then I said it. And I guess if, you know, if I'm more logic than emotion on the song, I'm glad because more emotion there could have been a bit ugly. And I know my, you know, so. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm content. I'll take, I'll take. So you know, you're a little bit distract, distract, distracted. Probably, I, I could possibly be. Not in my ah. You see, now we've said this on camera. I have to justify. So what I mean by that is no. But um, 
Yeah, you know, it's always just been a weapon of sorts, like just words for as long as I remember, you know. I wasn't physically violent, like in high school situations. I was just that guy who was always a bit sharp with the tongue, you know. But like, You kind of know what you want to say and you know how to describe it, but, uh -huh. but because you figured out how to describe it, someone else doesn't always receive it the way you were thinking. Yeah, but also sometimes I know what I want you to feel. Yeah. I know what I want you to feel, and that will come back and inform what I say. If I want to hurt you, I'll know, okay, this is what I'm going to say. If I want to make you fall in love with me, this is what I'm going to say. If I want you to be empathetic or to feel sorry for me, you know, it comes off a little bit manipulative, but, you know. I was about to say that. <laughs> Shoot. Um. <laughs> no wonder we never got you the balcony. <laughs> I... <laughs> As you speak, I'm like, why did we bring this guy here? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. Look, I mean, obviously, like you are right now, you're navigating the music, but um, but I think that like you you navigating creativity is just that the music is just the focus, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think your best your best bit in the game is is being able to have both 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 these things and rolling with them. Yeah. I think that you have a, I think as an artist, like like I see you really having a like with the right connects you know these they, they could be like a nice kind of it's like you know that you know like you could be like that alternative african hip-hop rap in the yeah. world somewhere you know yeah. what i mean especially because of how you depict stories and you tell stories you know what are the plans though and what would you love to happen with your music career mm. i mean it's one thing to go okay i don't know whether i should be designed but what is it that you really want for your music career without you like compromising mm. what you're doing from an artistic perspective and how you write. Yeah, that's a fantastic question. And I want to start my answer off with um, an interaction you and I had in Durban. I don't know if you remember, you came for the state of the game. Um, ch chatted with you, Karen Williams, when she was still at the plug uh, and moved hip hop. And then I was in attendance. Oh yeah, I remember. And then I we spoke briefly towards the end and one, something you said to me, which really kind of like made me lean in more. You spoke to me about how at this point in my career, no one is meant to help me. I'm not meant to help anyone. It's partnerships. So it's not like a this, it's more like a, you know, like how you described it is that like, I need to be intentional about maybe how I move going forward, like, the knowing the value of, of, of what I have, like, um, as an asset and whatnot. So basically, it was like, be intentional. Every time you're in a situation, in a room, let that business artist, entrepreneur had come on and you can discuss partnerships. It's no longer like, hey, help me. I'm a struggling artist or, you know, so that whole thing kind of informed a new perspective as to what I want for myself in the long run, career-wise. Um, my music is always going to be what it needs to be for me, first and foremost. But what I've been developing over the last couple of years is structures in place. Um, when I'm not making music, when I'm not designing, um, and I'm thinking about my creativity, I'm thinking of the business of my artistry. Um, when I think about that, I think about, um, you know, what structures are in place when you think of businesses, you know? so. Things like looking at my business and understanding that the entrepreneurial thinking that's needed um, in my career and looking at record labels, the major labels, listening to managers, um, like publishers, lawyers speak on podcasts uh, about artists and music, you know, and listening to their perspectives, thinking about how they see us as the artists. And the conclusion for me is like, I want to be them in a sense where for myself, I want to be able to tap into that perspective of, okay, cool, SWOT analysis. What are my strengths, weaknesses, assets, and threats? You know, like um, now thinking not just as an artist, not thinking 100% emotionally. There's a level of objectivity I need to like insert into uh, my career for it to be something that's sustainable. So as like, I mean, I registered a business in 2018, uh, normal, right? It became like, it housed all my creativity from the designs, you know, we were servicing clients, you know, festivals, you know, other artists, you know, but, you know, 
So Balwanster, not to say it was our main priority, but that was like us working in our sleep, you know, on Balwanster stuff. And then the other side is now the record label. So I began to develop structures that you find that um, the, 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 the creative agency, which is at some points generating more money, it, it, it begins to fund the record label, you know. So there's music videos that I've shot, really funded by the label, I mean by the creative agency. So by housing these things and having structures in place, it makes me uh, sufficiently self-reliable where, you know, I am not at the mercy of anyone really, you know. I, like from starting, move, from moving to Joburg to try position myself to service labels, you know, to now seeing them as competition in a little, in a, in a way, you know, while I know what they have on me. Um, if it's just money, then we know, okay, cool, how do we get shareholders on board, investors on board? How do we kind of now activate the creative agency to have other designers? We take on bigger projects and then it comes and funnels through to the record label. So I think going forward, like the trajectory, while it's very much upward, like I want to have structures in place. I want to create a machine for myself, you know, something that I can eventually share with others without wanting to be another big, bad major, you know, like, but also the older I grow, I know that, okay, they are business, you know, there's business in these structures. So if you're the artist signing based on emotion, you know, you're gonna be the same artist who's worried about their masters not coming back to them, mm. not being able to release music and stuff like that. I never want that for me, you yeah. know, because I want to be informed. So yeah. by having all these structures in place, I need to know how music you know, functions as a business, the law, the copyright, you know, being able to teach it in Cape Town was kind of confirming to me that, oh, yeah, I can, I know this shit, you know, because mm -hmm. if you can teach it, they say, then you obviously know it yeah. enough. And I learn as I teach. So right now we've got like, um, I've got seats that I used to sit on. If normal is, okay, the label, uh, now there's the event side, then there's the merchandise, then there's the design agent. These are multiple seats, I'm one guy, you know, but these seats existed until I couldn't sit on them all. So I recently like brought on some homies, like uh, you met him earlier, the business manager, MK. Um, we're looking at the business of normal, you know, the label, the agency, like what else it can be. Like, do we register separate things? Tax, how does that, all that look? These are conversations I wouldn't be having if I was just the artist. Mm. You know, then there's Debza who I've brought on board as like the events and activations head. Mm. So, you know, he's like um, done his time like in the music industry as part of a band called Johnny Cradle. Um, and like he's offered so much of his insight and his experience to my career. So, you know, while the artistry, the music itself hasn't changed other than just me getting quicker to produce or just kind of being more mature in how I write, you know, using fuck a lot less, you know, finding other words, you know. Like death. Yeah. <laughs> dead like death, dead. you know. Yeah. Um, the music itself is still being nurtured. And mm. by having these structures in place, you know, I'm not under the pressure to, to make music of the time. Yeah. You know, or rather make what's trending because I don't, not to say, I mean, I, I definitely, the plan is to eventually make money, enough money from music, which to a point where maybe certain departments shut down, but also they won't because now we've employed people. But um, until then, I've lost my train of thought. You're almost finished. You just had to just <laughs> color in the eye. Literally. You know what I mean? Okay, hold on. I think I can find it. But anyway, what I'm, that's just to say that, um, oh yes, music. Like, by having structures, any, everything else that pays the bills, it puts less pressure on the music itself to pay the bills. Because if I had to make a hot song, like, as per what a hot song is, like, you know, structure-wise, you know, if it's a piano song, if it's like a very hot pop song, you know, if that's not what I want to do and I have to, I know I've lost my connection with my music. So by having these structures in place, design paying the bills and music being nurtured, you know, like being breastfed, mm -hmm. then that's how I'm going to keep it how it is. So that's the plan. And then, you know, we develop these structures, we replicate them, we help out homies, put music out through our structures, have this machine that we're building, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the future of Valuanza, Normal, the, the the company, the label, the movement. Mm -hmm. You know, that's 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 the head. I mean, and you know, you you have a lot you can say about that, bro. Like you're one of the few guys who who has done it. What I I think successfully. You know, the fact that we're here on a platform that you would have benefited from long ago had it existed. You know, mm -hmm. is you know 
I, I, I want that for me as well, and I want mm. that for the future generation. So, you know, it'll be Balwansta on live, uh, you know, or whatever we eventually no more. call it. Yeah. No more on yeah, live, yeah. you know, something. Abnormal. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, like, so, I mean, kudos to you Thank and you. respect to you for just kind of having done it, you know, yeah. having seen it from the beginning. You know, I was, I've, you know, obviously listened to a lot of the interviews where, like, your perspective is very unique in comparison to the people around you. Mm. And I think today is obviously a testament to that. I mean, we're, I mean, do people know this is your house? <laughs> they can't know. But anyway, we're somewhere that he has full control. And that just, you know, speaks a lot to what you had seen for yourself. If you had been asked this question, you asked me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, we're not done. We're excited about the future, though. Yeah, yeah. Excited about the future. Yeah. Maybe our paths will cross. No, without a doubt. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but this is exciting. You know, um, by Luanster, I'm glad you've stuck around in the game for this long, you know? Um, and I'm glad that you, you've you always had talent, but I'm glad you're using your energy mm. um, to really tell these stories yeah. that are engaging, that I think a lot of people can go, I know what he's talking yeah. about, you know, and they're not just locked on the industry mm. politics. Mm. I'm glad you decided to be proactive and stand up for yourself and make your own um, decisions, you know, and, and create your own world and your own destiny because, you know, um, people think that opportunity is something you get. But um, this stupid thing, I was thinking about it this morning, I was going, um, the, the reality is that like everything I have was was not because of where I come from. Um, as in like, you know, I'm from, I remember that I'm from two parents who literally like um, uh, never had everything. But, um, but the truth of the matter is that I'm here because of my imagination. Yeah. My imagination has nothing to do with like where I come from, how much yeah. my imagination, even the things I'm about to do is just my imagination, you know? Mm. So um, it's when we lose faith in our imagination, yeah. that's when people don't support us, that's when people don't back us. Even if it's one person, they go, here's a hundred grand yeah. for your imagination. <laughs> so your imagination is, what is, is your differentiator, you know? And, um, and I think, like just because you're making money in other aspects, mm. take music like this. Um, um, some people buy expensive clothes, some people buy expensive cars, some people buy expensive watches, but you might have an expensive habit. Some people go to expensive trips. Mm. You might have an expensive habit, which could be music. Yeah. And it has a chance maybe to pay back, maybe yeah. it doesn't. Mm. So when you're always taking money from the other things, just take it as an expensive habit. Of course. Don't of course. take it as a, don't put all your money in it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, okay, let's go back and go put money yeah. in this expensive habit. It also allows you to manage the frequency of how many times you kind of like spend in this expensive habit, mm, mm, mm. you know? So before you open it up to everybody, now all your money is going to this yes, expensive yes, habit and all your other work is being drained. Yeah. So, um, so I mean, that's all, man, I'm gonna say, you know, mm. keep doing. Bro, thank you so much, brother. Nice one, man. Oh, yeah. Till the next one. We're gonna do it again. Then. Easy. Right. Broadcast live.